Oh my god. Get down on it. Let's do this. Right. Oh my god. Oh my god. I think it's a, it's a thick one right there. I got something in my eye. <laughs> Get that bad boy out of there. Fuck. I have something in my eye and I'm trying to not focus on it. Okay. I think I'm better. Okay. Ready? Hold on. Oh. No. Ah. Ah. What's going on, everybody? This is the burn down. Today's episode. Got yourself a stimulus check? What are you going to do with it? I'll tell you what you're going to do with it. You're going to spend this money and get yourself a cigar starter pack. Stay tuned because it's the burn down. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Burnout. I'm Justin. I'm Eric, and I got my stimulus check in the mail, baby. Stimulus check. And guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a list and spend hopefully every single dollar on this check with cigars and cigar-related products. Because what else would you spend your money on? Dude, I mean, you could spend it on uh, AMC or Bitcoin or GameStop. GameStop or Dog coin. Punch it. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to show you what you can do with the $1,400, whatever guess, it is, the $1,400 stimulus check. We're going to put together a cigar starter pack for you. So if you're trying to get into cigars, you don't have the money. And guess what? The government's going to send you $1,400. Now you can get yourself some cigars. Get yourself all set up with that stimulus check, baby. So when sum summertime rolls around, you're looking like a pro. You see the big new new air humidor you got, and be like, oh my God, Eric is a cigar guy. He has all the latest and greatest stuff. How did he do it? So I'll that's tell what you how. Gonna, that's what we're going to do. You're going to take this dang stimulus check. Stimulus check. Stimulus check. Stimulus. Stimulus check. Stimulus check. Stimulus check. Check. That's a stimulus. Stimulus. It stimulates you because it's a check. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going to take you from the from not having anything, and we're going to get the humidor, get the cutter, get the lighter, the ashtray, get the traveling case, the humidification device, and, of course, cigars. How much is this worth? So, basically, we're going to go shopping with a $1,400 budget that you get from your stimulus check. Before we do that, we have to say, please like this video. Please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the bell to be notified whenever we drop new videos. And then head over to the Instagram. Give us a like on a couple of photos. Give us a follow. I'm the Dapper Cigar. That's the Brother Cigar. Together, we form Burn Down Podcast. So now we got that out the way called action. I owe fourteen hundred dollars. You owe fourteen hundred. How the heck does that work? Uh, this isn't a check. Maybe we're gonna tell you what to sell to pay. <laughs> just kidding. so before this we get a, this, started. really isn't a stimulus check. This is just a no old uh, reimbursement <laughs> check that I wanted to use as a prop. <laughs> okay, so before we do that, we have to do what we do every video. We gotta light up and we gotta talk what we're drinking. So Eric, so kindly enough, brought us. Something very unique, something different. Something's going to put some hair on your chest. I, I hope it puts hair on your chest. Uh, it's called Mr. Tom's Butterscotch Bourbon. Bourbon. Butterscotch. Butter. Butterscotch. Scotch. Handcrafted small batch, bottle 355. Um, Let's this, give it a whirl. Let's try it out. I don't, ever try, I, I don't know if it's infused, but uh, it doesn't smell like it. It's handcrafted in Florida. Shout out to uh, the USA, the greatest country in America. America. I mean, the greatest country in the world is America. Uh, <laughs> USA, greatest country in America. <laughs> <laughs> That's just going to be a slogan. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean... Uh, it's fun to say butterscotch. Butterscotch. It's like Francisco. Francisco, that's fun to say. Francisco. It doesn't smell like butterscotch. It smells sweet, though. I remember you smelled it. You, you smelled it to me? Yeah, you you I, let me smell it, and it was sweet. Yeah, I smelled it to you. Take a whiff of that. I want. I don't know if it's going to be good. I, I thought about doing that, too. I thought about just ripping it out of the bottle. But, yeah, I don't know uh, I don't know how it's going to smell. I mean, I don't, It smells like bourbon. I don't know how it's going to taste that mean. Mr. Times. Hey, man. Give it a whirl. Try it out. See what's going on. All right. Ooh. All right, ready? If this was the weekend, I would say, fuck it. Let's just chug the bottle. But, and then uh, what are we smoking? Uh, yeah, I think we're both smoking something to from two from the uh, uh, I didn't even drink yet. Um, Luxury Cigar Club. This is from the Core Box. I don't even know who makes this. This is Habano. I didn't do my oh, research. That's, um, I thought this was uh, oh, maybe that? not Placencia. No, it's uh, um, oh, oh. is it pa Power Power Cigars? Pa uh, uh, it's got a P on it. I don't know, but it looks really good. It's a torpedo. It's a little bigger than a robusto. 
Um, but yeah, I'm pretty intrigued to try it. Can I see it? I'm sorry, I don't know the name of it. This is kind of last minute cigar. I just whipped out to try. Doesn't really give you too much information on it. Yeah, it doesn't say. It probably, if you take the wrapper off, it probably says it on the back. Mm, maybe. But I'm smoking a um, Rojas. Rojas. For all you Spanish people, that is red. Um, this is the Blue Bonnets. This is a... Uh, Actually, correction. Rojo is red in Spanish. Well, if, if it's a female noun, then it's Rojas. Like Roja. I only know one way. It's Rojo. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it. It's Rojo. Can't do it. That's it. Um, this is the Blue Bonnet Lancero. Uh, I forgot where I got this from. I think I got it from LCC. Uh, and I wanted to, it's got a closed foot. I didn't know, just noticed that right now. Uh, black label, Rojas, blue bonnet, little blue, uh, label, a secondary label. Should be pretty good. So let's spark let's it up. Bad. Let's, uh, cut these bad boys. Let's light it up. And, uh, we'll get right back to how you can spend your $1,400 on fun cigar products. How you gonna spend that stimulus check, boy? <laughs> Get stinky. Stinky, stinky. All right, so before we get started with this on how you can spend your uh, stimulus Let's check. Let's check out these socks that I got on. Just damn, these are fun and funky. Oh, man. It looks like yeah. fucking Lifesaver colors right there. Yeah. Literally looks like a pack of Lifesavers. I, this looks like the Knicks. This looks like red and white. Eh, half of America. Then you got... Hmm, this one. What does this one look like? Bl- turquoise and black? That reminds me of something. I don't know. But anyways, these are fun socks. Those are fun. Um, got them for Christmas. Christmas? They're my first time wearing them, so check yeah, them Christmas. out. I don't know where they're from, but yeah, rocking the socks pretty hard. I got my uh, cigar socks right here with the oh. cigar box and the cigars, but you know, they're fun. Yeah, they're, they're okay. All right, so I want to get into this because it's going to be a fun episode. I want to talk about all the different things and how you can get yourself started with that stimulus check. A cigar starter pack. With the stimulus check. You think they understand that it's a stimulus check? It's a damn stimulus check. Yes. And we're telling them what to buy with the stimulus check with cigars. Okay? All right. So, let's let's toast because we got to get this episode started. This is the Mr. Tom's Butterscotch Bourbon. Let's really try how this tastes. All right. Cheers to uh stimulus check and uh, buying cigars <laughs> with it. Which uh, we won't get, but <laughs> cheers. <Yeah. laughs> Probably not. Oh. Whoa. Butterscotch, indeed. I like that. It pairs pretty good with a cigar. I like that. It's got the sweet taste to it. Yeah, it's got that sweetness. Sweetness. Sweet. Okay, so. First thing. First things first. First things first. Rest in peace, Uncle Phil. Word. Second thing. First thing you got to get. If you're thinking about getting cigars, you can start with cigars. You can put them in a Ziploc bag. We've told you. Check out the Burnout Academy, a video on how to use the Ziploc bag. Um, but we're going to start with a humidor. Got it. That's that's what you need to house the cigars. It's only right. Before you actually get cigars, you need to put them in a place where they're properly stored. Got to get yourself a humidor. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to do two different levels, if you will. There's levels to this shit. There's levels to this shit, okay? There's levels to this shit, young boy. We're going to do the high-end level because you got extra little, some extra, some disposable income now with that stimulus check. Yeah. We're going to start the high, we're going to do high level and then we're going to do kind of a lower level, like the basics, okay? So, the humidor. The first one we're going to start with, high-end. It's only right. If we want high end, you got to get the high end products. It's got to be some kind of electric humidor. And Justin and I both have this brand, and it's yep. New Air. And we don't think uh, there's anything better right now. So if you're getting an electric humidor with the auto climate, making sure the cigars are nice and cozy, it's a nice house, you got to get the New Air 250 count. Now, I think. From what Justin told me, he do, he picked the one that houses cold and warm, not just yes. you know what I'm saying, not just uh, yes, not just the regular cigar humidor. It actually does both functionalities. It does. So they have two different, a couple different brands, a couple of styles. But you're right. This is what they call the Opti Temp, and this is the New Air 250 count electric cigar humidor with Opti Temp. And what that means is it'll regulate both hot and cold. So a lot of them, some of the other ones are the coolers where it only 
basically it's a refrigerator. This one does hot and cold. So you set it to whatever temperature you want, 70 degrees, mm. and it'll go up and down and keep it at 70 degrees. And then if you want to get rid of your cigars and put wine bottles in there, go ahead. you got that dual functioning. So this one's going to go for about 500 bucks. Okay, it's 250 count. It is a fridge, if you will, hot and cold. Put your boxes. It comes with cedar trays, cedar drawers. About five hundred bucks. That's gonna be the high end. That's about. It's like probably like thirty percent of your check right there. Right? I mean, you got the fourteen hundred bucks. You might as well. You might as well get something. Might as well get the big nice house. You know, if you got if you got a million dollars, first thing you're gonna buy is a nice house. So when you got fourteen hundred dollars for cigars, you want to get a nice house for it. So it's this it's this new air humidor, which is five hundo and uh, probably the best thing for your cigars. Yes. So now. The, if you don't want to go all the way up top, you're going to get yourself a desktop humidor. There's a number of desktop humidors, right? This is more on the lower end. We kind of picked middle end because the amount of cigars we picked at the end, um, so stay tuned for that. Uh, you need a decent size humidor to hold them, right? So this one is from a website that we have both used. And disclaimer here, we don't get paid for any of these websites. We wish. Um, <laughs> these are just stuff that we've used in the past. Uh, you're talking about, you know, number of websites, Amazon, JR Cigars, Cigars International, Scar and Pipes. We don't get paid for any of it. So this is from First Class Humidors. FirstClassHumidors.com. This one's called The Salvatore. It is a 300-count desktop humidor. Right. Okay, it's got two different trays that come out, and then it's got the bottom. Okay, it comes with the humidification device, the, the hygrometer, and it goes for about 175 bucks. Yeah, so it has... So the two trays, it's not usually you have a cigar humidor and you have the one whole tray the size of the cigar. Now it's cut in half. So you have two two trays. So you can put maybe the high-end cigars in one and then kind of like the middle tier cigars on the other one. Then you put everything else in the bottom. You can put the meat, the mild on one side, the fuller on the other side. So it gives you some options. That's about 175 bucks. Options, baby. Okay? Options. So those are the two that you can go with. You can go with the higher end, $500 new air humidor, or you can go with the $175 um, cedar humidor. Okay, so you got yourself a humidor now. You got a perfect place to house your cigars. Now, what's the next thing? Are we getting cigars yet? Cigars are going to be... Cigars going to be at the end. We're not getting cigars yet. Okay, because this is the thought process behind this. Is we're going to get you all set up mm-hmm. so that you're ready to go, so that you can order cigars and have a place to store them, make sure that the right humidity, humidity, right temperature, you have the cutter, the lighter, the ashtray, you got all the stuff ready so you can smoke your cigars. Because if you just buy the cigars, you don't have a cutter, you don't have a lighter, you don't have a place to store them, you're going to have to smoke them pretty damn quick. What are you going to do? And you can't smoke them because you don't have a cutter, you don't have a lighter. So we thought, let's get the process down first. Get everything situated that situated. way. That way when the, your kids, aka your cigars, move into the house, you got a nice, warm, cozy, perfect. 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 Optimal. Amazing. Beautiful. Natural. Spot form. Tell. Them. I'm going to tr- keep dropping adjectives. Love it. All right. So, the next thing, now you got a humidor, you got to have a way to keep the humidification in. Okay. The new air humidor does the temperature, but it doesn't have a humidification built in. If That's you right. get the, the, the desktop, it will have a humidification device, but you might want to upgrade it since you got a little extra cash from that stimulus hey, check. You got the cash, baby. You got that stimulus. You, you want to spend the money. So a thing that I would recommend, if you're going with the new air, go with an electronic humidifier. Okay? Best one out there, in my personal opinion, Eric uses one as well, Cigar Oasis. Okay? Mm-hmm. They have a number of different ones, and you can even get this electronic one in a smaller version to use it with the desktop. But if you're getting the new air, just go with the Cigar Oasis Plus 3.0. It's about 130 bucks, and it's good for anywhere from 300 to 1,000 cigars. So what are, what's the Cigar Oasis do, right? Okay, so the Cigar Oasis... People might not know. You you're gotta, right, you're, you're right. right. I got to elaborate a little gotta bit. Elaborate a little, elaborate little bit. A little bit, you know So what I mean? let me tell you. This is what it does. You Basically, it's, it's a humidification device that's got a little fan built in, and it's got a sensor on it. You plug it into the wall, do a USB cable. It's got a very thin ribbon cable, so it doesn't it doesn't break the seal of your humidor. And uh, it has a little sensor. And when the when the humidity drops below a certain level, the fan kicks on, starts pumping that that humid air mm. into your humidor to bring the level back up. If you have a passive one like the ones you get when you buy a regular humidor, you have to add distilled water, and then that just naturally keeps it. 
But if you're spending money on the cigars, you're spending that fourteen dollars stimulus check. You want to get the right stuff. You want to get the top of the line stuff. Why not? Why cheap out? And it's the best because, I mean, you may have to put some water in the cigar oasis every few months or so, but yes. that's all you got to do. Everything else, the cigar oasis will do. I, you know, I hear in the middle of the night. I'll be, I'll be sleeping because I have my humidor in my room. I'll, be, if I wake up, I hear the fan. Yep. Three o'clock in the morning, I'm like, that baby's working nice. Very good, and I love it because it's keeping my cigars very fresh. And I got to say, the amount of times that you have to refill a electronic, an electronic humidifier versus the passive one is a lot less. Like you said, the electronic one, you might fill it once every couple of months, uh, once maybe two to three months. With the passive one, you might have to fill it every month. Yeah. Okay. So. And, you know, and also, what's good about the cigar waste is it has a digital, digital uh, display on it. So as opposed to a passive... You know, you're kind of just shooting in the wind. You're kind of just reaching in the shadow. You don't really know what you're getting. You know what, what it, where it's at. Well, at least with the Cigar Oasis, it'll tell you the temperature. It'll tell you the humidity. And sometimes it even tells you, um, you know, if like the the sponge or the humidif- humidification device in the Cigar Oasis is kind of like dry or low. Right. Which is a huge, huge uh, point. So there's two different types of Cigar Oasis that I would recommend. If you're going with the New Air Humidor and you got the bigger one, you get the uh, the Cigar Oasis Plus. Okay, that's about 130 bucks. Um, if you go with a smaller desktop version, you don't want to take up so much space, and you po- you might not need the Cigar Oasis Plus. You can go with the Ultra, mm. and it's a, it's basically a, a slimmer version of it that goes for about 118, 120 bucks, and that doesn't quite do a thousand cigars. It might do maybe uh, 250, something like that. Um, or you can take one step down. Now we're on the lower end. Mm-hmm. You can go Bovita packs. Can't be Bovita. I mean, they get the job done. All you got to do is rip them out the package, place them in. And then once they're in, they're in. They're settling the That's humidity. It. Whatever you get, 69, 72, 75, whatever your uh, your desire is for uh, humidity. But. That's the beautiful thing about Bovita. And another good thing is that you can kind of tell when they're running out because they get really stiff and they get really hard. And the little fun fact, the little insider trader info, is that you can recharge your Bovitas. It will take about four or five days. But, you know, if, if you don't want to spend more money on Bovita packs, you take your dry Bovita, you get a bowl of distilled water, and you leave it in there for about four or five days. And it actually will break down all the uh, the chemicals in it that's making it hard and get it make it soft again. And... Boom! You're re- you're good to go. Good to go. There's a number. There's a, a few different options, um, depending on what humidity you want. 69, 72, 68. They got a bunch of different ones, um, and they actually make a, a large size, which is a, I think it's a 300 gram um, Bovita pack that can do up to 100 cigars just for the one pack. Damn. If you get the small, the the regular size ones, they even have little small travel ones. But the regular size ones, um, I think they're about 60 gram. 60 gram size, they do about 25 cigars. So depending on how many cigars you have, you might just have to get a few of them. Got they it. range, the 60, the 60 gram ones, you get a pack of four for like 17 bucks. You get a pack of 12 for 43 bucks. Uh, or you can just go for the big one for 23 bucks. Um, or super cheap, just get distilled water, use the passive one. $2 a gallon. Totally fine. That, that's easy to go to CVS, Walgreens, your local grocery yep. store. You're going to yeah. need it anyway if you have the electronic one. You need the distilled water. It's a, so. a key essential. All, all right. right. What's the next thing? Some next. accessories. Now we got so now you got the humidor. You got it all set up with the humidification. What's next? You gotta have you have accessories. You gotta be able to cut it. You gotta be able to light it. You gotta be able to ash it somewhere. Yeah, go to for a cutter. I mean, it's our favorite. You know, these are obviously all recommendations that we have and that we like. Got to go with the Zycar. I think it's the X2 cutter. Uh, yep, yeah, right there. Justin's got it right there. I got mine right here. Look at it. Look at this bad boy. This goes for like what, 25, 30 bucks. This cigar. Uh a little bit more than that, I think. Oh. I spent about thirty dollars on this one. I think they range. Yeah, I think they range. The solid black one might be like thirty bucks, depending on where oh, you get the it. The color, the color. But they have right? colored ones that go up to fifty. They have a yeah. number of different colors, whatever suits your uh, your fancy there. But so that's like one of the high another higher end one, depending on what kind of style cut you like. We have the V cut, a Colibri V cut. I don't know why my, my foot's like caught in the middle er, here. Er. Um, a Colibri V cutter, which runs you about 40 bucks. And the good thing about these cutters, too, um, I'm not sure, I'm sure Colibri, but I can't speak on it. But I know the Zycar, you'll get a lifetime warranty. As long as you buy the product, sign up for the, you know, uh, uh, register your product. I've broken mine, or mine was a little dysfunctional. I just sent it into Zycar, and they sent me a brand new one. 
You got to get the warranty. Warranty is always good. Come on. You don't want, you just want to spend $30 on a cutter. Most people are like, ugh, $40 on a cutter, ugh. But if you get that warranty, it's like, you know, my money's going somewhere good because I just get it when I'm free. Boom. If it, if it breaks. If it breaks. It's cutter insurance. Cutter insurance. You know it. So if you don't want to go to higher ends, you can get a simple, simple stainless steel guillotine cutter. Get it on Amazon. It's about six bucks. There's one that I found called the Mantello 60 ring. Six bucks, stainless steel, guillotine. Perfect. Get the job done. And all three of these cutters, you can find them on Amazon. Um, the Bovita packs you can find on Amazon. We're going to put all the links in the description below. You can also find um, them most of your tobacconists and your yes. lounges too. They'll sell Zycar. They'll sell Calibri. They'll sell the, the $5 cutters too as well. You can find them almost anywhere. You're probably even in a gas station. You can probably find a cigar cutter. Yeah. Or you might, depending on what cigars you get, some of the shops and the, the online stores will give you a free cutter, right? They give you cheap little plastic yeah. ones, but it'll do the job. Hey, gets the job done. All right. So now we're moving on to the next accessory, the lighter. And this is our favorite. It is the Zippo with the torch insert. This is the best. I know a lot of people who are... Smokers, not even just cigar smokers, they collect Zippos, they like Zippos. You know, you don't want a regular, um, you know, lighter to- lighter uh, Zippo with the, uh, what do you call it? Uh, what do you refill it with? Um, lighter fluid? Lighter, the Lua, yeah. lighter fluid. You want to get the torch and the uh, insert for the Zippo. I think it comes in single, dual. And and single and dual. Single yeah. and dual, which, is, which we usually recommend. Single and dual is probably the best. Uh, once you get to three and four, it kind of gets a little crazy because... We think it kind of burns the cigar a little more and kind of can get a little crazy. Yeah. What is the um, the the total combo with the uh, just a plain old Zippo, like no fancy design on it, oh. plus the insert? What does that go for? You ask me. Um, the it goes for around like twenty five, thirty bucks. Uh, the torch itself, I think, is fifteen dollars, and then the the Zippo uh, about twenty twenty bucks. 15 bucks, right? Yeah, I think yeah, fifteen to fifteen, something like that. So yeah, it ranges between like twenty five and thirty bucks, um, which is perfect because. Uh, again, if you like Zippos and you want a torch, this is your go-to. I don't really have any much any other lighters. I have gone through this like three or four times. I love it so many so much. So uh, this is what we recommend, and you should probably just get it because it's easier. And it's yeah, I mean, for twenty-five bucks, it's a good, reliable uh, torch lighter. If if you don't want to get any lighter, you can obviously just use matches. Uh, but we're obviously you have that stimulus check. You have a little extra cash. You want to get something nice, and you can't beat the signature. Can't, you know, can't beat it. Can't beat on. it. Come on. You, you got to love it. You just got to love it. People know, oh, shit, he's about to light he's up. He's about to go down. <laughs> so now let's say you're not a Zippo guy. You don't like the clinky clack. Whatever. I don't know if I can be friends with you, but that's a different story. Uh, you can go with your quad, a dual, or single torch. Again, we highly recommend using torches. You don't want to use the, the Bic lighter. Don't use that. Or you can use cedar strips or regular matches. But a couple different styles. Quad torch. I've used these before, and you have to be careful that you don't burn the cigar because it is a big flame. There's the Moretti Churchill lighter you can get on Cigars International. Mm. It's about 25 bucks. It's a great, great lighter. Then we have a dual and a single, and this is both by a company called Jetline. They have a Jetline dual and a Jetline uh, Jetmaster. I have it written down. The dual is about 15 bucks. The single is about 13 bucks. You can get these all at Cigars International. Okay. Yeah, you know, again, I, you know, I guess whatever tickles your fancy, but. I'm always going to stick with the Zippo and the torch insert. I have maybe one other lighter in case this one runs out or if it breaks or something, but it's a way to go. We like the single torch because it's more it's more direct when you're burning a cigar. You can really pinpoint on what you want to burn. Um, that's what we highly recommend, and there's really nothing else to it. So now it's got to be what's next, a, a, tra- a travel case or an ashtray. What do you got? What's on your list? Well, let's say you can you can cut it now. You can well, store them. The, yeah, let's start from the top. So you can store them. You keep them humidified. You can cut them. Mm-hmm. You can light them. All right. I ain't got to find a place to ash it. I mean, I mean, you can ash it on the ground, but like, come on. You a real cigar smoker now. You want to show trying the to people. level up. You want to show the people, hey, look at my ashtray. Yeah, look at my, that's a nice ashtray Yo, right there. Yo, look at that ashtray. They got a nice ashtray. They got a nice face on it. It's got a nice logo. So you can keep it simple, all right, if it's just yourself. You can get a sing. They call them, they do them by fingers. Single finger, dual finger, three finger, four finger, five finger, right? And the fingers is how many cigars the ashtray can hold, how many you can rest on the tray. Single ashtray, very simple. Go to Amazon, get yourself a single ashtray. Eight bucks, ten bucks, fifteen, depending on the design. 
That's it. But you know, we're here with your stimulus check. We don't want you to cheap out. We want you to spend that money, baby. Spend that stimulus. So there's a lot of different options. You can obviously go on Amazon. There's all different kinds of other spots you can go to. I mean, we have the Arturo Fuente, which is a four-finger ashtray, which is really nice. A lot of cool artwork, some cool sayings. That one is called The Hands of Time, I believe, and it goes for about 50 bucks. Full ceramic ashtray. We love it. A good Uh, crowd pleaser. Good crowd pleaser. But if you want to upgrade a little bit, you can go to, um, I believe we have this one is uh, Holtz.com, and I'll put the link below, uh, a list of ashtrays. Anywhere from twenty five to fifty bucks, you can get four finger, yeah. five finger, even some. If you like, if you have ones. a, if you like a particular cigar brand, most chances are they'll have a cigar ashtray. You can get the logo. We got, we have another Viva La Vida by Artesano uh, del Tobacco um, ashtray. Um, I mean, even if you want to go a step further, I got a signature ashtray of the portrait of the Godfather. Yeah, there's so many different ones you that can come find. straight from amsterdam that's mm-hmm. like super exclusive super exclusive you gotta like talk to someone directly to get it but it is possible so you are spending that money might as well level up all right so Eric, we got we took our stimulus check the 1400 dollars stimulus check we got a humidor we got the humidification we got the cutter the lighter the ashtray now it's not a necessity it kind of is for us, for me, it's absolutely got it if, right there. No, if, if you're a cigar smoker, it is a necessity. Because All right. Correct. I'm, I stand corrected. It's a necessity. It's a mother effing. It's a necessity. Mother effing necessity. You, you want to be able, if you're traveling, yes. you don't want to put your babies in a plastic bag. You don't want to just throw them somewhere. You put babies in a plastic bag? Oh, you know, that's like child cruelty. That gets you locked up. That's at least five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 10, 12 years in the pens, huh? <laughs> From five to twelve, real quick. Yo, it's it varies. It whatever, varies. Man. Whatever, whatever state. Depending you're on in. the judge. Yeah, depending on the jurisdiction and where you are in the area. But so, tell yeah, me. you're gonna need you're gonna need a, tra- a travel humidor. Justin's got one right here. He's got it covered in stickers. I got one right here. This baby comes with me everywhere. I got like two or three of these, but this is my go-to. But you want something comfy, something nice that's gonna hold your cigars. It's got the styrofoam. Uh, molding in it to keep it nice and cozy. If it clanks around, it stays safe. And uh, again, they they you can get the low end ones, which probably range from fifteen bucks. The high end ones, I go to forty, fifty bucks. What do you got over there in your little book of tricks? Well, it's there's a again, you can find them all over. Type in cigar travel case. Uh, but the ones we put, picked up, this is from cigarsinternational.com. It's called the Herfador. That's the brand that makes them. They have a five count, ten count, fifteen count, forty count. And like Eric said, they range from the lower end is about fifteen to twenty bucks. The higher end is going to go about sixty bucks. It all depends on which which one you want. The one that we that we personally have, Eric's got a ten count one down there. Um, the one I have right here is uh, probably like a twenty count, but it's got a compartment. That's not a Herfador one; it's a different one. But I also do have the twenty count Herfador uh, or fifteen count Herfador. It's great. So it's great. It's great. Got yourself a travel case. Now you got the stimulus check. Fourteen hundred dollars, and you spent it on all the necessities to get yourself locked and loaded to pull the trigger on some cigars. Now it's time to get those cigars and put them in that ashtray, put them in that travel humidor, put them in that new air humidor, put them in that box table humidor. Time to put them away because you spent all this money. Now it's time to grab a cigar. And purchase it. I don't know where I was going with. It. I was trying to think. Of I, something I was just letting you ride, bro. It was good. So now I was got, along for the ride. Yeah. Now you want to get cigars. All right. So, so what kind of cigars are we getting here? So after adding all this up, again we had the high end side and we have the low end side. So what we did was we took all of the higher end purchases, the highest ones that we talked about, and we added them all up. Okay. And we came to a price, and then we took that and we subtracted it from the fourteen hundred to see how much do we have left. To purchase cigars. If we went with all the high end uh, material, what the real? How much do we have left? Okay, the number we have left is about five hundred seventy-five, six, about six hundred bucks, about six hundred bucks that you have left for cigars. That's if you purchase all the high end. You purchase the new air humidor. You purchase the cigar oasis plus. You purchased the uh, Zycar XI two. You purchased the let's say the Zippo with the torch and all the high end stuff. Right, you about six hundred bucks left. So, what can we get with that 600 bucks? Let me tell you. What kind of cigars we get? What kind of babies we put in that humidor, son? This one, I know you're going to like this one. We, did, we like to go samplers, okay? You it's, could use it and buy boxes of your favorite cigars, but we're going to try to give you a little bit of variety in life. Life is better with variety. We like options. We like options, no doubt. 
No doubt. We need the options. I know we got some Fuentes in there. I know we got some... Uh, I don't even... There's so many, but I know Fuente is something that you already got because you're a Fuente guy. So, first sampler. This one happens to be from Holtz.com. Holtz. This is, this is the, the Arturo Fuente. Don Carlos Edición de Aniversario. One of our favorite. Oh, my God. It's beautiful. This so is they a, come in a sampler with that, huh? It's a five-cigar sampler, okay? You get a Robusto, a double Robusto, and a Toro. One, two, and two, okay? Goes about 135 bucks. Damn, is that it looks like five, though, over there. Yeah, so you get one Robusto, two double Robustos, and oh. two Toros. Dang, now that's a good deal. What does it say? 135 bones? 135 bones. Hey, Toros. that's not bad for that cigar. That's a, that's actually a great deal. It's a great deal. It's a great deal. Now, Eric, I'm going to let you talk about the next one. Which is, I'm not sure what we have. Oh, Another classic. Another classic brand that we love to talk about. Tell them. Tell the people. This is the Oliva 8 Cigar Assortment. So we're big on Oliva. They make fantastic cigars. So this sampler comes from, again, Holtz.com. Now we get one Oliva Master Blend, which is a you know the torpedo killer, size. Killer smoke. Uh, you get a Siri G Robusto, a Connecticut Reserve Churchill, a Siri G Maduro Churchill, two... Oliva Siri V Maduro Toros, which is probably one of the best cigars in there. So you get two of those. You get a Siri V Torpedo and a Siri O Robusto. For How a, much does that go for? For a slamming price of... That can't be the price. That is legit the price. That's not the price. That's legit the price. $32? That's the price. All eight Olivas for thirty. I, and I was not expecting. I'm, bu- I'm buying it right now. Yo, I'm buying like click buy, s- click buy. I'm clicking like six of those, son. Thirty two dollars for that. And this is Holy on Holtz.com. So the retail price was eighty five bucks. Is doing a sale right now. Thirty two dollars for your stimulus check. They know you're getting paid. They know you're getting that stimulus check. They said sale, 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 and that's a hell of a sale. Thirty two dollars for that. That's I'm not gonna lie. After we film this, I might. I'm gonna buy it. That's. <laughs> Dude, what is it? Eight? That's that's like less than eight dollars. I know eight. That's, th- that's that's less than eight dollars a cigar. It's four dollars a cigar. Four dollars a stick. Uh, yeah, less than four dollars. I meant to say eight times four is thirty-two. Yeah. But uh, they, oh, and it ships free. Ships free. And those cigars at least go retail wise. Those are at least ten, eleven dollars. I mean, dang, Banging. son, where'd you find this? That's a hell of a deal. I like that one. All right, this one looks good too. Now Sheesh. the next one is a Pepin Garcia. 94 96 rated sampler. This again, this is from Holtz. Okay, links are all in the description hey, below. If you like, just like we did that $32 one, you want to buy it right, click the link below and you'll buy it. This one. I gotta hit up Holtz, man. They got some. What the hell? Holtz is good. I've used Holtz before. I've never very I've good. obviously heard of Holtz, but I never actually ordered from them before. Now listen to this one, all right? You thought the other one was good? Eight cigars, 32 bucks? This one, all of them are rated 94 to 96. Top of the line sticks. Top of the line, baby. Okay. You're going to get four, four of each of these. Okay, you get four Flor de las Antillas. Love that cigar. Love it. I think it was 2013 Cigar cigar Aficionado of the Year. Love numero it. Numero uno. You're going to get four La Aroma de Cuba Mi Amor Bellicosos. You Great. get four Aroma de Cuba Mi Amor Reservas. My favorite Mi Amor. And then you get four My Father number ones. How much? Tell me right now. About 100 bucks. Oh my God! Sixteen dollars? Six, no, sixteen cigars. I mean, uh, sixteen cigars. All rated about ninety four to ninety five, ninety six, hundred bucks. So out of that six hundred, that's less than ten dollars a cigar, dude. It's crazy. Out of that six hundred bucks, we spent about two hundred and seventy right now. And the, and I know the floor that's in TS that at least goes for twelve, thirteen dollars. The Mia more reserve uh, again twelve, thirteen, fourteen dollars. And the, uh, my father and the uh, the other Mia more um, reserva. Those, those range from $10 to $11, $12. Oh, boy. This is definitely one you guys definitely need to buy. I just saw it. I just saw it. At- tell them. Tell them about it while I relight my stick. If you guys already aren't aware, we actually have our own sampler pack at CigarPipes.com. Now, this is called the Burn Down Sampler Pack. Now, this pack is for eight cigars, right? Eight cigars. One, two, three, seven, seven cigars. And it's less than a hundred dollars. It's less than ninety dollars. And these cigars are bang. Wait till he tells you about these cigars. If you're a true BD peer, you will know about this already. You probably already bought it, but wait till he tells you. So cigarandpipes.com, the burn down sample. This comes with this. No more. Uh, a, a dot. 
Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. This comes with one of our favorite right off the bat. The Oliva Siri V Milanio Figurado. Boom. Oh, my. Bellissimo. Oh my it's beautiful. That comes oh, with one of them, right? Good. Then you have the God of Fire Siri Anniversario. Another fire cigar by Prometheus the Lounge. My father, the judge, a great box press by my father. A Colwell Blind Man's Bluff, one of Justin's all time favorites. <sighs> Again, the Don Carlos Edicion Anniversario. We just said it earlier. That's another one of our favorites. It's in that sampler. Yeah, I mean, that cigar is so good. We figured, put it in again. Put it in there again. We got to do it. Put it in there again. And then you have, so that's five. So then you have the Ashton VSG Robusto. And to top it off, an Avo Classic Maduro. (laughs) One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cigars that are top of the top that we highly recommend. And it's less than 90 doll hairs. 90 bone saws. What are you doing? Go and get it. Stimulus check is there. It wants to be spent. You want to do it. Just do it. So the next one is from JR Cigars. It's the CLE, which everybody knows is Christian El Aroa. Is there? The Aroa Assorted 10 Count Sampler. Highly, highly good cigars. Banging cigars, amazing cigars, fantastic cigars, some of the best cigars. Oh my god, they're so good cigars. So this one you're gonna get, you get ten cigars. It's one hundred and ten dollars. Okay, it's the Aroa first twenty, the first twenty years. You ever had that one? Fantastic. They have the natural Maduro, and then they have the regular Aroa natural Maduro. Okay, so you get four different cigars, uh, ten count all of them. So some of them you get. F- Four cigars, and so you get two cigars. Mm. Uh, One hundred and ten bucks from Jr. Cigars. You, 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 you kidding me? I mean, damn! You can, there's so many good deals out there. You can you don't even have to listen to us. You can just go on any of these cigar retailers' websites and spend that stimulus money because there's a lot of good deals out there. Oh, this is another good sampler we want to tell you guys about that you should be spending your money on. I'll let you talk about this one. This is our boy, Johanna Santana. Johanna Santana. So he is the maker of Blackbird Cigars. So on NeptuneCigars.com, yeah, they actually have a Blackbird Cigar sampler. It has the Blackbird Crow, the Cuco, the Finch, the Jackdaw, the Rook, uh, the Rook, and the Unkind. Tell them how much. This is, uh, this is a great sample pack. Just the colors, they all line up. Looks like the fucking rainbow. Beautiful. Mm. Tell them how much. And you just scroll down. No, it's right there on the top. Oh my god, I didn't even see it. Oh my god. I was not expecting that to be the price. So for those six cigars, which are all phenomenal by Blackbird, less than forty dollars on this website, it's thirty eight dollars and ninety five cents. You kidding me? Are you kidding me? You're making me so aware of how many good deals there are online. Dude, I did my research. I did my research. Holy hell, these are good ass deals. So yeah, I did some research. Damn, that's a good ass deal. You can get a lot of money with that stimulus check, boy. So you spent about, so I, got, I came to the point, you spent, six, there's $600 left, you spent about 500 of them. And, about that, was, and that was about what? You got like, uh, that's about like 30, 40 cigars. Let's see, you got 5 plus 8 is 13, plus 16 is 29, plus 7 is 30. 46, uh, 36, mm-hmm. plus 10 is 46, plus 6 is 52. 52 cigars, my own. For what? $500? $10 a cigar. And they're all solid. Solid. Yo. Oh, my God. That is so good. You kidding me? That is freaking good. Now, we got about 90 bucks to spend, about 100 bucks to spend. I'm like, let's throw some Let's let's throw some of the some of the good ones in it. We threw a lot of good ones in at the beginning. But I'm like, you know what? This brand, we don't talk about this brand a lot. We both love them. I'm going to show you what it is. Talk to me. What else you got in this list? So now we have 52 cigars. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. That's a crazy looking sampler. So, this one not only does it look good, it lo- opens up like a book. Looks The book looks great. <laughs> this is, again, on Neptune Cigars, the Placencia 5 Cigar Sampler Box. Let me tell you what you get. Yeah, tell me, please. I'm interested. Tell me, let, me, let me tell you what you're going to get. You get a Placencia, Ama de Campo, Ama de Fuego, Ama de Fuerte, Cosecha 146. Reserva original. Damn. Tell them the price on that bad boy. Eighty nine ninety five. We we got five cents to spare. Holy cannoli! 
you kidding me? Dude, five cigars for that Placencia? Placencia. It's not just like average show. It's Placencia. Five slamming cigars for less than 90 bucks. Damn. So, Stick we went through a Don Carlos Edition down a Rosario sampler, an Oliva sampler, a Papine Garcia 94 to 96 rated sampler, the Burn Down Podcast Elite sampler, the CLE Aroa Assorted sampler, Blackbird sampler, Placencia sampler. Spent the $600 that we had left. But, Eric, hold on a second. Hold the phone. I know you guys right there, and you guys right there, and you folks listening. I know you're saying, but Eric, but Justin, but Burn Down. I just did the math. I did the math. What if I didn't go high end? What if I bought everything low end? I got more money to spend. So we did the numbers. And if you went low end, you didn't have $600 to spend. You had $1,100 to spend. Eric, what are you going to do with that extra 500 bucks? What the heck? I know what I'm doing. I'm getting me a ticket to Cigar Fest 2021 in Pennsylvania. Let's go. At- so you can take that 500 600 bucks extra, get yourself a cigar ticket, to Cigar Fest, you don't want to miss it. Trust me. We've been there, and unfortunately, we couldn't do it in 2020. We're doing it in 2021 in October. We will when be tickets there. go on sale, you can get yourself a ticket. Guarantee that. Believe that, homeboy. Now, Eric, the tickets only go for like $350, $400. Bucks. What are you going to do with that extra 150 bucks? <sighs> you, you put in a savings account. Uh, you can buy some new kicks. You can take your wife, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whoever, out to dinner. You could put that $150 on AMC and GameStop. <laughs> you know, Which you I can, highly uh, recommend you don't do. <laughs> no, don't, don't, do that. don't do that. Don't do that. But you can do, take $150 bucks and just say, uh, shit, what am I, you can burn it if you want. You can put it towards a vacation. You can give it to us. Hey, you can donate it to the burn down. We'll take it. You can quick pay us, Venmo, PayPal. Oh, PayPal. Yeah, send it over to the burn down. We'll take it. You can do a lot of that money left over. So put gas in your car. We got you. We took your stimulus check, your fourteen hundred dollars stimulus check. Boom. We got you all hooked up with a cigar starter kit. You got the humidor. You got the humidification. You got the lighter, the cutter, the ashtray, the travel case, and your 50 plus cigars. And if you went low end, you got a Cigar Fest ticket. Come on. Come on. What's left over for the high end? That was it. If you went with the high end, you had 600 bucks to spend in cigars and you got your 50 cigars. Oh my God. So if you went really high end and got yourself the new air stuff, the Cigar Oasis Plus, at the end, you spent more of the money up front. You only had about $600 left over. You got yourself 50 sticks. Boom. Starter. All different, all top rated sticks. You're, you're ready to go. Damn. Actually, more than 50. You guys saw about 55 sticks. Well, you said 52. Yeah, so 57 sticks total, I think. Dang. Good ass. That's a good recommendation from the boys from the burn down. I'm telling you. So, if you like this episode, please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button. Please hit that bell to be notified for when we drop new videos just like this one. Eric, tell them where they can find us. Man, you know, it's really fun to tell you where you can find us. Because you can find us at... The Burn Down Podcast on Instagram, on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on Twitter. You can find Justin on Instagram. <laughs> on Facebook. On Facebook. Hey, y'all on, y'all on Facebook. You ever going on your LinkedIn? Yeah, y'all on Facebook. <laughs> but you can find Justin at the Dapper Cigar on Instagram. You can find Brother Cigar on Instagram. You can follow the Burn Down Academy on Instagram. You can email us at burndown.mail at gmail.com. You can listen to us on Apple, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Podbean. Oh, my God. You can watch us on YouTube. Just make sure you subscribe. And that's everywhere. You can follow us. You can listen to us. And you can watch us. So thank you for watching. We hope... You took some consideration to our opinion here. And uh, if you're actually going to do it, let us know how much you got. Let us know how much you spent and what you got from it. Because uh, this was fun and we want to see what you got. So until next time, cheers to the stimulus check. (laughs) Cheers cheers to the burn down letting you know that you can spend that stimulus check. Until until the next episode, salute. Salute. (laughs) Salute.